welcome to <laughs> Fur Baby Fine Art here. Boys and girls, I hope you brought your brushes. Okay, so when I start a painting, I use just one color. I use Payne's Gray by Golden. I like the consistency of this. I also mix it with the medium, and I'll show you. Let me go grab some. Okay, this is what I use. Currently, this is what I'm using. It's called Polymer Medium Gloss. I bought this january and i pour it pour this into this this i have been using for years pour this onto the palette mix it with this paint and then i do my underpainting which you'll see now oh the poor little kitty cat looks scary Now when your painting looks this bad, you know it's time to grind. Now would be a good time to talk about drawing. Am I right, Buster? These are short videos. We're in the introduction. We're only going to be touching on certain things. But for now, basic stuff. Drawing is very difficult. I like to start off doing quick warm-ups, 20 minutes. Just scribble, scribble, scribble. And I focus on basic shapes. You can see how these are basic shapes. Should I get more lighting? There we go. Basic shapes. But this can turn into this. The question is how do we get there? I used to use an opaque projector. So I would do my drawing take a picture with my iPhone, put it on the computer, print it out, and then I would use an opaque projector to put it on the canvas. This enables you to scale quickly and easily and efficiently. So small printout, opaque projector, you can go as big as you want. I recently made the switch because you needed to you needed paper, you needed ink, it took a lot of time, a lot of moving parts. So I bought this. This is a very small digital projector and I can plug it right into my iPhone. So when I do a drawing I take a picture of it, plug it, and I project it. Welcome back. We have the underpainting finished, as you can see. I just wanted to put these two canvases side by side so that you can see the difference. It's a little bit funny to me to break my process down. It seems unnatural because I am not a follow the rules kind of guy. I just never have been. I'm just going to focus on what I feel is most important for these two paintings. The limited palette. Payne's gray. Neutral gray. 
carbon black. Transparent red iron oxide. I don't know how to pronounce it, but quinacridone burnt orange. And some Naples yellow. Time for less talky and more time lapse. Hey guys, it's all done and I'm very excited. There's a couple of points of clarity that I would like to point out. I talked about projecting the drawing for transfer and I showed you an example of that. For this particular painting, I just freehand it. I freehand it based off of that little sketch I also showed you. Could be confusing. Also with the limited palette, for to get the green in the eyes, I also used Indian Yellow by Golden, and I used a little bit of Prussian Blue by Old Holland. I tried to get it with just the Naples Yellow and the Payne's Gray. We can talk about that later. When you finish a painting, always, always, always celebrate. Cheers, my friend. It's a homemade video. Yeah.